WICR. This is the all-new WICR. We're now on Live 365 and Ustream.com. Just search WICR and like us on Facebook. Facebook.com slash WICR Iona College Radio. Welcome back to Today with Matt and Dave. Uh, thank you for listening. This is our second show of the spring 2016 semester. Uh, so uh, we're glad to be back. Um, and uh, now moving on to Super Tuesday. Um, it was quite a Super Tuesday. Yes. Uh, 11 states were up for grabs. Um, just to run through real quick the uh, count on the Republican side, the count of delegates, excuse me, uh, on the Republican side. So right now Donald Trump has uh, a total of 319 delegates. Um, Texas Senator uh, Ted Cruz has 226 delegates. And Mark Marco Rubio of Florida has 110. Um, and on the Democratic side, former Secretary of State Hillary Clinton has a total of 1,052 delegates. And Vermont Senator Bernie Sanders has a total of 427. So um, the Democrats need 2,383 delegates to win. And on the Republican side, um, there's 1,237 uh, that are needed to win. So, uh, you know, uh, it's still early in the uh, campaign. Um, still got a few more months. So, um, you know, a- anything can happen. And I did read an interesting fact. Actually, it's funny because I don't know if you've seen all the things on Facebook and social media because people love some right. things happen. Mm-hmm. But, you know, how everyone's been Bernie. It, that right. comes to Democrats. It's Bernie, 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 Bernie. And, and I've seen jokes of it. They actually use SpongeBob when everyone's surrounded Squidward's place. And it's like all the Ber- Bernie supporters on social media. And then it went Super Tuesday. And then it was like a small little crowd of them actually showed up. It's like it seemed if you look at social media, Bernie fans are all over the place. But yet none of them mm-hmm. went and voted. None of them helped the poor guy out. Right. But I will say this. What I read today, interestingly enough, Hillary Clinton was in the same spot. Uh, four years, well, actually eight years ago when she was against Barack Obama in 2008, she did win big on Super Tuesday and was leading by quite a bit against Barack Obama. And he he ended up winning, and look, he ended up winning, winning the winning the nomination, but became president for the last eight years. So, yeah. Bernie fans, I, I guess I'm going to urge you, because I'm not a Hillary supporter, I will urge you that vote for Bernie. Get him get right. the nomination. <laughs> Um, So uh, on Super Tuesday, uh, going to the results on the Democratic side in Alaska, uh, 78 percent of uh, the votes um, went to uh, Hillary Clinton and 19 percent went to Sanders. And that is 100 percent reporting. Um, And then in Arkansas, Clinton got uh, 66 percent while Sanders got 30 uh, in Colorado, uh, Clinton got 40, Sanders 59. Which Georgia. was a big win. They said they did not expect, I will say, I don't know if you re- heard the news, I was watching it last night. Yes, Hillary won seven states and Bernie got four, but they said him winning Minnesota, Oklahoma, and Colorado, especially Colorado, was not expected for him to win that. Right. He, I, obviously, he was expected to win his hometown, of, home state of Vermont. Oh, yeah. But they said him like winning Minnesota. I didn't realize Minnesota was such a large state for uh, the Democrats. I mean, it, it would have helped if he won a state like, say, Texas, which is 242, or if he won oh, yeah. even like Massachusetts. Oh, yeah. I mean, na- and Massachusetts was, you want to just throw a percentage out there, it was 50 to 49. Massachusetts, he just lost that. Mm-hmm. And that's a huge, you know, portion that, that Hillary we got now over. And it's just, you know, it's, a, it's he's not out, but his chances took a huge hit. Yeah, I mean, you know, as I said, Super Tuesday, it's still early in the game. And, you know, there's although there's still a ton of states that are up for grabs, oh, yeah. um, you know, but uh, in Massachusetts, it was pretty close. You know, it was 50, 49, 50, th- 50 for Clinton and uh, 49 for Sanders, which was the I think the was that the closest of I think of any of the I races think it was. Yeah, I think that. Yeah, because the next closest thing, um, if I wasn't mistaken. I know Arkansas at one point they were they didn't ex- on the Republican side that was close, but that everything else the winners won by a, a decent percentage. It wasn't like anything was really super close except for, uh, you know, M- Massachusetts on the Democratic side. Right. Yeah. I mean, you know, in my opinion, that's Massachusetts is in Bernie's turf 
as as uh, some news agencies you know, have reported, have quoted, um, y- you know, because it's in the Northeast. So, um, you know, I, I think it's it's a uh, win win for both when it comes to Massachusetts, even though Hillary Clinton is declared the winner. Yeah, I mean, well, yeah. what that's Mitt Romney. He was Massachusetts, correct? So, I mean, right. And because Bernie is is farther on the left, he is more of a socialist. Maybe that was the reason that right. on the Democratic side, they looked, people looked and go, I could take a socialist and Bernie or I could take Hillary. I think I'll just go with Hillary and take right. those take those emails and, and lying that she's done in the past. I'll take that over the socialist. Um, and now in Minnesota, um, Clinton got 38 and Sanders got 62. So he's a winner of that state. In Oklahoma, Clinton got 42, Sanders got 52, so winner he, uh, Sanders is the winner of that. I'm surprised Oklahoma is only 42. Yeah. Or 40, and, and I thought it would have a, I don't know, I thought Oklahoma would be higher than that, personally. But And then in Tennessee, Clinton won uh, at 66, while Bernie Sanders uh, had 32%. In Texas, uh, Clinton got 65, and Sanders 33%. Uh, in Vermont, uh, Clinton got 14, and uh, Sanders got 86, so that's obviously, that was predicted. Everyone, for the most part, wins their own state. Um, if, if, you, if you don't, then there's... There's a problem. There's a, well, I mean, uh, that or the other candidates are just that much better than you, because you should be winning your home state. <laughs> Whether you're go- governor, representative, senator, state senator, you know... You've been, you've been at your, out of your state, you should be winning. Right. And then, lastly, Virginia, um, Clinton... Got sixty four percent, while Bernie Sanders got thirty five percent. So you know, uh, as I said, still early in the campaign, and a lot of things can happen. A lot of things can change. Um, but, it just uh, it doesn't look. I know it doesn't look good now for all you Bernie <laughs> Bernie supporters, mm-hmm. but I mean, you can look at. I'm going to be the numbers guy and say, look, Hillary's still t- thirteen hundred votes away. Right. Yes, Bernie, you're about nineteen hundred, but it's not as bad as you think. You right. still have some key states out there. Look, California. I don't even know how many oh. delegates that is, but I'm guessing that's got to be. If Texas is two two fifty two, yeah. California's got to be right around the same. And you know, um, in New uh, York, that's another big one. I know on the Republican side, you got Ohio, and you got some big states still. Right. But the whole point is, Bernie needs to win those. If mm. Bernie wants to get the nomination, yeah, he needs to win those big states. He cannot, like I said, he won. Like I said, winning Oklahoma. Minnesota, you know, that, those Minnesota was a nice win at night because that's 93. Colorado was even a nice win. But technically, he lost the four strongest states on Super Tuesday, losing Massachusetts, Georgia, Texas, and Vermont, or Virginia. Um, winning w- even one of those. Say he went in one mass. I know I know. When just because you win the state, you don't get all the votes. Yeah. But so like something like uh, Massachusetts, it was 50-49, so they both got a nice chunk out of it. But mm-hmm. like something like Georgia, where he lost 70, 71% to 28%, he got not next to nothing, and she got pretty much everything. So that's mm-hmm. all. That's just right there, a lot of votes. And you f- it's thing, fl- flip that around. Mm-hmm. You take away, say she got 70 more, 70 more than he did. Suddenly you flip that around, and you give him 70 more, take 70 away from her, that's a 140 difference because mm-hmm. it swings in your favor. So. Uh, and then now moving to the Republican side. Um, actually, before I forget, uh, tonight at 9 p.m. Eastern is the uh, is another Republican debate. It's on Fox News, and it's going to be interesting because you know this is the first time that Trump and Megyn Kelly, I think, are <laughs> back uh, together in a while. Yeah, and uh, it's in where Detroit tonight, correct? I believe so, yeah. Um, and, uh, you know, the last time that they they had a debate for... Oh, no, I shouldn't say that. You know, uh, Fox News had another Republican debate, but uh, Donald Trump refused to show up. Um, well, he's got to show up. Yeah, obviously, he's going to show up this time. Oh, yeah. Because, um, I mean, now they're, they're down to four. Because yeah. now taking Ben Carson's out. Or maybe he didn't... I know there's been now... I've read things that, oh, he didn't cancel his t- c- campaign... There's no, there's no, that Mr. Carson's, Dr. Carson's, if you happen to ever hear this, all due respect to you, sir. I, I think you are a brilliant man in things you've said, but I think it's just time that you step down because mm-hmm. you're, you're fighting a battle that you're just not going to win. And I, I do, and I do like some of your policies a lot, yeah. but it's mm-hmm. just step out and just let the, let your votes either support someone. 
mm-hmm. support endorse, somebody. endorse Donald or yeah. endorse Ted, endorse Marco, even endorse John. I'll tell you, uh, um, you can even argue with him. You know, in, in the next coming weeks, you're probably going to see Governor. Uh, and I know because he's in Ohio, you he may want to stick around because you winning Ohio would be huge for the Republican side. Oh yeah, but but Cash, it maybe just it's probably better if he just both of them step down and just kind of let it go down between Trump, Cruz, and Rubio. Because even though Rubio's looking out in third, Rubio still has a chance. Rubio still got a decent chance. Cruz obviously has. Cruz and Trump are, are very close. So we, we will have to see. But um, we're going to talk about the percentage-wise. Donald Trump won Alabama, 43%. Ted Cruz got 21 and Marco got 19. Alaska, uh, Ted Cruz won that 36%. Donald got 34 and Marco got 15. Arkansas was 33%. This was a close one. Remember, this one, they it was way too close to call at one point because it was really between yep. um, Donald and it was Marco at first, if I'm not mistaken, at, at Arkansas. They, the delegates were close, but I guess Ted got a nice little jump, but it ended up being 33% Donald, 31 Ted, and 25 Marco. Matt, how did the rest of the states fare? Uh, for Georgia, uh, Trump got 39%, Cruz got 24 Rubio got 24 Kasich got 6 and Carson got 6 In Massachusetts, Trump got 49 Cruz got 10 Rubio got 18 Kasich got 18 and Carson got 3 In Minnesota, this was the only state that Marco Rubio uh, won. So uh, Trump got 21, Cruz got 29. Rubio, on the other hand, had 37. Kasich had 6, and Carson had 7. In Oklahoma, uh, Trump Trump didn't win this one. It was uh, Texas Senator uh, Ted Cruz. So he won this one. Uh, That was called for. I mean, it's near Texas, so uh, well-known there, too. So Trump got 28, Cruz got 34, Rubio got 26, Kasich got four, and Carson got six. In Tennessee, Trump got 39, Cruz got 25, Rubio 21, Kasich five, and Carson eight. In Texas, uh, this was also called for uh, Ted Cruz won. That's his home state. So that was, uh, you know, definitely called for. Trump got 27. Cruz got 44. Rubio got 18. Kasich got four. Carson had four as well. Um, And then in Vermont, uh, Trump had 33. Cruz had 10. Rubio had 19. Kasich had 30. And Carson had four. And lastly, in Virginia, Trump had 35. Cruz had 17. Um... Rubio had 32, Kasich had 9, and Carson had 6. So, you know, uh, you know, uh, there were some places that were too close to call. And, and some places that were blowouts. But right. I'll tell you, I don't know, Matt, also I've been – I read something interesting today. And, it, you know, Hillary they, – they showed if Hillary got the nomination versus the top three um, for the Republicans versus Bernie, and Hillary has a 1% victory over Donald right now. But she, is, she does lose – by 4% to Ted Cruz, and by a whopping, I think it's like 8% to Marco Rubio, so a huge jump there. But they, and it's funny, this is where people, this is not like Bernie type campaign thing. People, it said Bernie, Bernie, if Bernie was at the nomination right now with the way the numbers are, they all heavily favor him over all three Republican candidates, yes. being Bernie, had, I think it was like 4% over Donald, 10% over Cruz and like 8% over Rubio. So mm-hmm. one of those things, you know, people are trying to just get voters out there because I was surprised. I know some of these experts say, oh, they were not surprised to see Hillary dominate as much as she did. But I don't know. I just expected with everything I've been reading and all of these people on social media just posting about Bernie, I expected to see it a little more support from Mr. Sanders. But yeah, a lot of states to still be won. Obviously, Super Tuesday is just eleven. You still have, I think, what thirty plus states that you got to go. Oh yeah, but yeah, I mean, uh, th- those uh, official election results are uh, from the Associated Press and the New York Times. Um, but with that, that is all we have for the race for the White House, uh, 2016. So uh, we're going to take a little break, and when we come back, we'll talk about all the Oscars. Thank you for listening. 